So here is a short video tour of the HVAC Bootcamp online course. Once you log in and you enter into the HVAC Bootcamp course, you'll notice that all of the modules are accordion down, so they're compressed, so you can't see everything that's in there. Otherwise, there would be uh, tons of information that you'd have to scroll through. And you start out with module one, unit matter, heat, and energy basics. So what you do is you click on the link right here, and it opens up module one. And you'll see we have learning objectives, reading assignments. There is a note-taking guide. If you're a note taker, that's available for you as well. And then there's videos. And the videos correspond to the reading assignment, but it, it gives you a, a little bit different look and it's just not regurgitating what you're gonna find in the book. These are all of the best videos from all of my courses that cover things like matter and energy, gas laws, heat temperature and pressure, and so on. So you're gonna read about uh, heat temperature and theory of heat, and then you're gonna watch the videos about that. There's a lot of additional information that you're going to learn in these videos that's not covered in the textbooks. So after you read your reading assignments and watch the videos. When you're ready to take the quiz, down here is your test your knowledge. This quiz happens to have 20 questions with a time limit of 30 minutes and a minimum passing score of 80%. The reason that 80% passing score is required is because this is open book and you should be able to, in the time allotted, if you have read and learned the material and you have your textbook answer accurately answer the questions. There is no way that in 30 minutes that you're gonna be able to answer all 20 questions if you haven't studied the material and watched the videos. So the uh, quiz is timed, of course, and you click on it when you're ready. It's gonna give you a brief uh, about uh, your time limit and so forth. And you are going to, it's gonna say start the quiz here. This is my continue the last attempt uh, quiz. And it is multiple choice. And as you go through and select your answer, you're gonna put it, you're gonna to go to the next question by hitting next page and so on and so forth until all of these quiz navigation blocks are filled in gray. If it's auto graded, it's going to give you a, um, it's gonna give you the score at the end of the, the quiz and then the manually graded questions I do manually as well. Once you pass the quiz with 80% or greater, what's going to happen is it's going to unlock unit number two, the refrigeration process. You'll notice that the units of instruction are restricted. So again, once uh, unit one, matter, energy, and heat basics is unrestricted. Once you pass the quiz with 80% or greater, it will open up unit two, the refrigeration process. And that's the same exercise, um, just like unit number one. You're going to look at the learning objectives. You have your note-taking sheet available. There are reading your reading assignments, which are short, just two, three, four pages at a time. And then there's the videos to accompany your reading. And there's quite a bit of videos covering the refrigeration process, the components of the refrigeration system, um, the refrigeration cycle, superheat and subcooling how compressors work, TXVs, uh, and uh, fixed metering devices as well. So there is quite a bit of information. This is key. If you're doing air conditioning and heat pumps, any type of cooling systems, this is what you're going to want to uh, spend a lot of time on and get, get to know this inside and out. There's also a, uh, a little short chapter on cap tubes as well. And again, here we have Number of questions, 30, time limit, 30 minutes, minimum passing score of 80%. When you're ready, you click and go to the quiz. And as we, as you look over here to the left-hand side, we have units three, general safety, refrigerant management, hand tools, tubing and piping, specialized HVACR tools, system location, air distribution systems. Some of these uh, 
units of instruction are not as video intensive as the um, the refrigeration cycle and the electrical but you'll notice here in the mid course challenge this is not covered in the textbook this is a ream heat pump installation guide and the quiz is is based on the information in the installation manual and you have to pass with a score great 90 percent or greater you have quite a bit of time 65 minutes 32 questions but this is going to show you how to read and understand and interpret and all the information, valuable information that you're going to find in the installation guide itself. Once you pass the mid-course challenge, then we're on to electricity fundamentals and meter usage, schematic reading, wiring diagrams, electrical codes, then we get into indoor air quality, mechanical troubleshooting, electrical troubleshooting. And then at the end here, it puts everything that you've learned in the previous units of instruction together, an electric heat system, a gas heating system. Um, oil is optional. Uh, if, if you don't do oil, just leave that be. Hydronic the same way. Then on to heat pumps, and there is a certificate of uh, completion as well. And that's basically it. I'm here to help you if there's anything that you need as a student or as a contractor, please let me know because I am a, your training partner and part of the learning process should you need me.